नमस्कार विद्यार्थी मित्रांनो सर्कल विषयी आपण बरंच काही शिकलो आहोत आपल्याला दिलेल्या रेडीस सर्कल ड्रॉ करता येतं आपण काही प्रॉपर्टीज आपण रिकॉल करूया पाहूया कॉन्ग्रेंट सर्कल्स दिस टू सर्कल्स आर कॉन्ग्रेंट बिकॉज दे आर रेडिया आर सेम कॉन्सेंट्रेट सर्कल्स द सर्कल्स हॅव्हिंग सेम सेंटर आर कॉल्ड ॲज कॉन्सेंट्रेट सर्कल्स दिस टू सर्कल्स आर इंटरसेक्टिंग इन टू पॉइंट दीज आर कॉल्ड ऍज इंटरसेक्टिंग सर्कल्स नाव सम प्रॉपर्टीज दे ऑलरेडी लर्न दट इज इफ द परपेंडिक्युलर सेगमेंट ड्रॉन थ्रू द सेंटर ऑफ द सर्कल ऑन द कॉर्ड ए बी देन दिस सेगमेंट बायसेक द कॉर्ड ए बी दट इज ए एम इज इक्वल टू बी एम दिस इज प्रॉपर्टी नंबर वन देन प्रॉपर्टी नंबर टू इफ एन इज द मेड पॉइंट ऑफ सेग ए बी and o is the center then the segment joining center and midpoint of the chord perpendicular to that chord ab then third is if the chord ab and chord ac are equidistant from the center o then they are congruent that is chord ab congruent chord ac now here seg ad is the bisector of angle bac which is given and therefore any point on this bisector ad is equidistant from the sides of the angle bac that is from ab and from ac now o is the point on the bisector ad therefore o is equidistant from side ab and side ac hence this perpendicular segments drawn through the o on side ab and side ac are equal Hey, that is chord AB and chord AC are equidistant from the center. Hence, chord AB and chord AC are congruent. These are three activities given in your textbook. Now, let us see how many circles passing through one, two, and three points. Now, here T is the point given. Now, we can draw infinite number of circles passing through point P, taking different radii. we can draw infinite number of circles now how many circles we can draw through two distinct points now here p and q are the two points then also we can draw infinite number of circles passing through point p and q now draw the say pq and draw the line l which is perpendicular bisector of say pq take any point on this line l which is center and suppose s is taken as the center then radius take radius sp or sq and draw a circle passing through the points p and q similarly o as the center and draw a green circle passing through p and q see the blue circle having center r on the line l so there are infinite number of points on the line l we can draw infinite number of circles passing through point p and q now if three points are given then how many circles we can draw now if three points are non collinear then we can draw only one circle passing through points p q and r now draw say pq draw say qr and say pr make a triangle pqr draw two bisectors of any two sides of the triangle here i draw line this line perpendicular bisector of side qr and this line which is perpendicular bisector of say pq both these bisectors intersecting at point o take o as the center and radius as op we draw a circle which is passing through point p q and r and this is the unique circle now if three points are collinear then there is no circle passing through these three collinear points now next term is secant and tangent of the circle if a line and a circle are given in the plane then there are three possibilities the line do not intersect the circle or line intersecting at two points to the circle or line l is touching at point p to the circle 
Here in the second case, the line PQ is called as the secant of the circle. And here line L is called as the tangent of the circle. It touches at point P. Point P is called as point of contact. Apart of the important theorem of here, tangent theorem. Statement, a tangent at any point of a circle is perpendicular to the radius at the point of contact. At the statement, we have a diagram draw here. Circle with center O. Line L is the tangent touching at point A. Radius OA is drawn at the point of contact. Now, this is written in the given. Now, this line is perpendicular to the radius at the point of contact. This we have to prove. That is, line L is perpendicular to radius OA. Now, to prove this theorem, we have to use indirect proof. That is, write the opposite sentence of this to prove. Therefore, assume that line L is not perpendicular to radius OA. Therefore, there exists another point B on the line L except A such that say OB perpendicular to line L. Take another point C on this line L such that BA is equal to BC and A dash B dash C. Draw say OC. We get here two triangles. Triangle OBC and triangle OBA. Now in these two triangles, three elements are congruent. That is say OB, congruent say OB, common side. Angle OBC, congruent angle OBA. Each 90 degree. And say BC, congruent say BA by construction. Therefore, triangle OBC, congruent triangle OBA by SAS congruency test. Therefore, corresponding sides of the congruent triangles are congruent, equal, that is say OC, congruent say OA, their lengths are equal. But OA is the radius of the circle. And OA is equal to OC. Therefore, OC is also radius of the circle. Therefore, we get two points A and C which are common to line L and to the circle. <coughs> but line L is the tangent of the circle and we know the definition of the tangent line. That is line and circle have only one common point. And here we get two points common A and C which is the contradiction therefore our assumption is wrong that is line L is perpendicular to radius 